Welcome to another Thriving Artist Art Life Short. Woo! It's been a minute. Today is uh, May 12 of Start Now 2020. This is the year when you have to make uh, a, an effort to handle one step at a time in your creative career. Just one step. Don't worry about the long list of things to do. Don't worry about all that you have to do to accomplish or reach your goal. What are the strategies and plans that you have in place? Just focus on that next step. It's real easy to get caught up in a to-do list. That's all. That's all I want to say about that. Start now. Hashtag start now 2020. This period in our society is, makes it very, very difficult to uh, be able to handle that step. So don't think about um, what all you can't do. Just work on the things that you can. Um, that is one of those uh, mantras that uh, they go like, um, uh, help me with the things I can do. Uh, help me figure out the things that I can't do and the wisdom to the, tell the difference. Something like that. It goes something like that. In any case, it's real. It's true. Uh, do not over fill your head with the things that you can't do. And one of the things that we can do right now is uh, focus on the new normal. There's no telling what society is going to look like in a month, in two months, in six months. Uh, I saw a meme where... Uh, I'm on Reddit a lot. There's a meme that said uh, this person shows up and walks up to another person and asks, say, what year is this? And that first person, the second person says, um, the year 2020. And so the first person says, oh, okay, the first year of the quarantine. And, uh, and you know, it sounds, you know, it's a little jokey joke type of things. Like we don't really know what to expect out of the future. But the reality is that we really don't know what to expect out of the future. And it's very anxiety inducing, uh, unnerving to not have a handle in your future, not know what you're going to do next or what's the next day going to look like. And so embracing the new normal right now is something that we're going to have to do and adjust in order to compensate for the things that we can't do and also to continue to put in motion the plan that we have to succeed as artists and this is really mainly talking to artists and creative people of all disciplines is that we are in a kind of a career or industry that doesn't have a lot of fail safe measures in place to take care of you if, if things don't work out if things don't work out as an artist then what people do is that they'll go back to their day job or they'll go and finish the career that their parents have for them or their family has been pushing them to. Um, and in my case, it was the same way. Many, many, many people in my life told me that uh, art is not a career. It's like, what are you talking about? And artists don't get paid. That's no money. Uh, and so you have to think about, um, so, so part of the, when you decide to be an artist and decide that that's the career you want to follow, you have to think about, well, what is there to do if I don't make it? The first year of my artist career, or as a professional, first few years as a professional artist, I kept a job. I worked as uh, I worked at uh, Sunny Delight, Hawaiian Punch, and out there, out there in Fulton Industrial, it's an area of Atlanta on the outskirts. There's full of factories and places where people go work. I was a forklift driver up until the day I quit and went tattooing full time. I was, uh, then I opened my own tattoo shop and along with a friends, a couple friends of mine, my brother and my brother-in-law. And, uh, in that first year or two, we were working. We still went to work, my brother and I, we went to work at USA Today. We were folding newspapers at two in the morning, three in the morning, um, as they came off these big printing machines. The point is that we always look at our career as something that I wish I could do. I hope I can make it. And if it doesn't work out, well, I guess I'm still strong enough that I can go out there and work with my hands or, or whatever chosen career people have um, pushed on you or you follow through on while still hoping for that creative. And, uh, and so now we have to look at, well, since we've chosen a very dangerous and uh, hard to find a sustainable income type of career, the reality is that now it's that much harder. And what I want you to know is that through all of those things, we have to understand who we are, what we want, and figure out the things that we need to add on to ourselves 
Now it's just not as simple, and it never has been, but we've always thought that, well, if I, just, if I can just simply be good at drawing, I'll get the job. If I'm really good at drawing this thing, people will come to me. If I can just tell a couple people that I can draw this way, it'll blow up and, and uh, I'm making the money that I want to make. That's never been true, but along with understanding that, that we have to add a couple other elements. Number one, and if you hear me talk all about, about the business of art and Artist King, you'll know that all I ever talk about is finding out how much money am I going to get paid for this, right? So that's been part of the, uh, the deal when becoming a full-time artist or an artist and engaging in client relationships is that you have to know how to charge. You have to know what to say. You have to be able to talk about the money without you feeling weird about it and without making the other person feel weird about it. You have to be confident and strong when talking about money. That's some of the things that we've had to add to our ways of operation to get that creative career going because we got to get paid. But now, slowly in the past 20 years, the internet has taken over. And I remember the days before the internet and fax machines. And then in um, and, and maneuvering with that, having a, an ad in the yellow pages, that's something that you had to do. Uh, paying for commercials on television, on access TV stations, getting on the radio so that you can reach an audience. I remember those days. But we've had to add those extra things to make sure that the art career had, continues to expand and grow and flourish. Nowadays, the new normal we have to face is this internet thing, the video production part. And right now, I'm just recording, hitting record on my surface. I'm on a surface. The color looks crazy. The color keeps changing if I move away and so on. It's not perfect. It's not right. But I wanted to try it out today to see what I really can get out of it. Um, and it's a very good clean camera. Is that but but we have to use all of these tools. That's the point. I'm sorry. That we have to use these tools to add to how we operate as artists. A lot of Zoom meetings, a lot of Skype, a lot of blue jeans, a lot of uh there's some one other one that I forgot. I got them all, downloaded them all, Teams, Microsoft Teams and all that. We have to be able to talk, not just show our face and hey, I still exist as an artist, but also talk and interact and communicate. Those are the things that we have to add to our arsenal of tools and following through a creative career. So you have to be ready for this new normal. Some of us have been working on it for a while, like I've been live streaming for years, producing video. I've aligned myself with people who know what they're doing and I learned from them. I didn't go to school. I didn't go take any art classes. I don't know what things are called. I just know how to do certain things and use them so that I can get more clients so I can do more drawings. That's it. It's not that I want to be Spielberg. It's not that I want to do live streaming and I'm the king of that stuff. No, it's that I use those tools to find my clients so I can continue having business. And I've gotten and I've been doing it for a while to the point that now that this uh, new normal exists, um, I'm able to maneuver in, in it and continue to thrive as a working artist. This is this is what we have to do in our creative career. So if I ever talk to you about live streaming, if I ever talk to you about showing your work, if I ever talk to you about getting up in public and talking about your art, talking about yourself, this is why we need to handle those things so that we can jump into different situations, evolu the evolution of the way business is done and social media works and the way we promote and market continues to change and we have to be ready and prepare for those things. If you weren't used to talking before, the radio, well, the radio forced people to talk. If you weren't used to standing in front of the camera before TV, well, the TV forced that on people. It's all about what it is that it's going to take to move on to the next level. And the next level means getting paid for your work. You don't want more clients. And right now, that's how I'm at. Right now, I don't have more clients. I actually have higher paying clients so that we can su uh, succeed in this uh, creative career that we have put on ourselves and decided that this is the way we want to live. This is Delta Tango Mike. Find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Delta Tango Mike. Find me on LinkedIn and Behance as the creative genius. This is the moment. This is where we start. Go ahead, get on it. If you don't make money with your art, somebody else will.